Hi everyone. Just wanted to share with you a knife that is half off right now on Amazon. So I took the chance and ordered it. Shamu's. And I will give you the link to it. Now let's take a look at it. So I did put a lanyard in it and it's a button lock. And it has thumb screws on it. So you can either open it like this. Or you can use the lock. Let me all right. So you yeah, this is normally a fifty dollar knife. It's on sale right now on Amazon. It has G ten scales. Sorry about the air conditioner. It's a little noisy. But if you order it now, you get it for half price. I think it's a deal. Very comfortable in your hand. So the blade is like 2 point, wait, 3.2, sorry. And the handle is about four and a half. has a nice, decent, very strong pocket clip. It is not reversible. And it is a very sharp blade. So, I just wanted to give you a look at that and I'll show you what it does come with. Came in this nice pouch. That's the thing with knives anymore. They all come in these nice padded pouches. Black shows everything, unfortunately. <laughs> but you do get extra screws with it. It's nice. Sticker. Microcloth. Nice microcloth. And just a pamphlet with the warranty, usage, all that good stuff. You know how they are. I think I got that backwards, of course, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, this company is kind of new to me. I have heard of their kitchen knives. So I think they're branching out into other areas of the knives. Like this is, um, I guess you'd call an everyday carry. But I think it's a good deal. I'm going to put the code put the link in the in the comments for you in the description and I think it's a good knife. I can't go wrong with a $25 knife. A little bit on the heavy side, but it's a good knife. You want to see how sharp it is? Let's get a box out and test that out. It's sharp. Very sharp. Nothing. To, I'm not even hardly pushing on that. So, sharp. I'd say go get yourself one. $50 knife, half off. Can't beat that. And it comes in green and the all black. So, definitely should get yourself one if you're into knives. I think it's a heck of a good deal. So yeah, that's the name of it. Here, let me get the 
There we go. That's what it is. So there you go. You might want to get yourself one. Thanks everybody for watching. So I am going to be doing some reviews on gear I've used in the past and some newer gear I use up in the mountains. Just in everyday life kind of stuff, you know. Not that you're out about all the time, but here's an example of something I tried. So here we have this knife. Let me zoom out a little bit. And now this thing, you have to be careful because you have to hook the blade down. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to go back in well. has very nice teeth on it. Let me see if I can get a close-up of it. You can see what you need to do with this one. It's on the back pole that you're going to do most of your cutting. It's lightweight. So, yeah, it might be good like to take backpacking. But, I don't have nothing against it. it. Folds up nice. It's pretty light. I didn't weigh it. Maybe I should for you guys. Here's what I prefer better. And I should have got the one out that I already have out. Um, on, out of the, excuse me, the case. This one is my favorite one to use. And why? Because there's this blade and this blade. And they're interchangeable. So, and it comes in a nice pouch. This one's not very heavy. And I will go get my other one because I need to show you the blades. Alright. Here's a blade I've had for many, many years. I keep them in the for protection. But this is what the Gerber Fine Blade. And if I told you what I use this one for the most, I don't know what you're going to think, but that's just, just the way it is. I've used this one for boning the most. So here's one I've had. Here's the nice pouch it comes with, the Gerber pouch. So the birds didn't like that. And here it is. just push that and it comes out. Alright, this is the one that's good for wood. And to change the blade you just unscrew that <clears throat> or you can do it with your hand. Depends on how tight you keep it. Okay. And it just pulls right out. So, there's the handle. I have found these to be very durable. Never had a trouble with this Gerber Exchange blade. Not at all. And yeah, it's been used. So, that's what's nice about, I think, the Gerber Exchange blade. I see this one. This one's an older blade. This. Yeah. This one, excuse me. I've had this one for many, many years. And yeah, it's the Gerber thing's changed on it. Actually, I've had one of these since the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, because I used to elk hunt. So that should tell you what I used it for. But I do take it up camping or backpacking because it is very handy. Very handy. So I personally like this little Gerber because of the multiple use of the saw blade. And it's very light when it's all in there together and you can put all this in this pouch. I have an extra. 
it's I'm just kind of goofy with gears so yeah I do this one cuts good too don't get me wrong it really does you just got to make sure like I said you have this locked in when you have that and I don't know really if you can get extra blades for these or not I gotta look into that one this one was given to me because somebody lost my original Gerber exchange blade and this won't do the job that I want it to with a multi system blade if that makes sense all right now I have this handy little item let's see what's in it some of you might know what it is it's leather and they're called different things so what you do with this which I want to show you guys like up in the mountains is you can make a handle for this out of a stick. This is tapered to take bark off. Well, you screw this down. There's a starting screw into the wood. And you can drill a plug out of it, a hole through. You'd say, why would you want one of those? Well, actually, you can actually make things out of wood. Logs up in the mountains. You can make yourself a bench, a table. You never know. You just lots of things you could do with it. You can drill holes in it and make yourself a stove out of a log. Yeah. So that's why I have these. These come in different sizes. I think this one is a quarter inch or an inch. I can't remember. Maybe it's three quarters. That's what it is. So yeah, you can get them in different lengths and widths. So that's what I do with that. And so that takes care of that. And this is something I think is very handy up in the mountains. And I use these when I camped or I cooked over the fire. So we have a stainless steel grill. Very heavy duty. I like this company. And actually it came in a two pack. So the other one I have is half the size. So these are very handy, very heavy duty gauged stainless steel very handy if you don't want to pack a lot of weight in the stove you can make a fire and use one of these to set your little pot on or cook something on so those are handy too and then we're going to get into some fire making which I hope to be doing soon because I have different items I'm going to be showing you how to make stuff one of them is beeswax Different starters, magnesium. This is magnesium and this is the striker bar. Here's your striker. So it's got a little, it's like a hacksaw. It's not the best, believe me. I much prefer the old ferrule rod over that any day. And then we have stoves. We've got all kinds of stoves. One of them is an alcohol burner. So I'm going to show you how to use this. Very lightweight. This is brass. You fill that up with alcohol. But you have to use good alcohol, otherwise it's not going to burn good. And here's the lid. And this is how you control the amount of flame you want over it and to put it out. I'll show you how to use this. These you might have seen, these have been around for a long time and they come in some of the foreign rations. Espibit, Espit. And what it is is it's a tiny little stove. That's all there is to it. You fold up those edges and you put the tab right there. The tabs are these. It's 
so that's what you use that's the fuel they don't burn a long time and as everybody says if you haven't heard this before they do have kind of a fishy smell I don't know why more stoves so we have these two I have a M SM uh, whisper light I'm just gonna I'll get it out this stove not this one the one I have which I'll have to get out. It's downstairs. I've had ever since I started backpacking. That's a long time ago. And I'm going to get it out. It burns white gas. It's super light. And you bring in little fuel bottles, metal, and you fill it up with white gas. So this one is actually a different kind. And this has this kind of fuel. So, it's the butane propane burner. And I do have an adapter for that one so I can just brain, burn, ugh, I can't talk today, full propane. There's the little igniter switch, and these all fold up nice. And it comes in a little case. I like this one. Not as much as I do my other one, because my other one is actually white gas. is lighter weight than this one. So one thing I do like about this one is you can adjust the how it burns better. It simmers better than my other stove, but yeah, we'll get into more of that later with the stoves. And yeah, I'll show you how to use this alcohol one, which is super easy. It's lightweight. The Thing you have to do is carry uh, alcohol in uh, another metal container if you're going to use this. This is super light though too. What makes a difference is, is your burning time to get water to a boil. And so we have water purification. You can buy tabs. Oh, I got a bottle of this somewhere, a couple of them. Which do you leave um, a smell and a little bit of a taste because it's like bleach or you can use the Sawyer system which is very easy to use sorry about the birds yeah I like these Sawyers and a Sawyer squeeze is amazing so you could just take this and drink straight out of the water oh darn birds and you put your water that's dirty that you're going to purify in here and then you screw it on I have to take that off cap off easy system to use screws on to here and you put your dirty water in this part and then it comes through this part so and occasionally you have to clean them which is really not a big deal that's what the syringe is for. Here we have a lightweight cup mug, very lightweight. Titanium. So I have a bunch of different kinds of cookware. This one is extremely light. I think it's a 10 ounce can. The handles are handy. You don't get burned. Plus, you can actually take a stick, if you run this through a branch, and you could actually set it above a fire and heat water in there. So that's another thing you can do. And if you want to make coffee, you can put this in there and run your hot water through and make yourself a cup of coffee. Very lightweight too. I have all kinds of gear. Oh boy, do I have gear. This is my smaller necklace type fire starter. So here we have our rod that you scrape. I'll show you how to do that. And then you scrape off the magnesium and then you strike it with this to get your sparks that's another way to make fires and this is parachute cord which has survivor cord in it 
parachute cord is amazing. So I do have a couple other little things that I'm just going to glance through quickly because I'm running out of time and I need to get back to my friend. But I will be, all oh, these little containers are so handy when you're backpacking and little Nigel and containers. And we have a pry bar. A pry bar. What would you do with a pry bar? Well, there's a bottle opener and it does have a little clip on it so you can clip it on things and this is a wrench. Pry bar. Things you don't want to put your knife into. The tip of your knife and break it or bend it. Use a pry bar. Very handy. Cheap. You can get them expensive. This one's just um, stainless steel. There's titanium ones. But definitely, if you're into knives, you probably would, should get one of these. So you save your knife tip. Because the last thing you want to do is break off a knife tip. Scraping something or trying to pry something open. I will be doing a review on this knife soon. And this knife, the Kershaw Iridium. This one's been around for a while, but yeah. And another brawler, just like the other one I have that's black. I love these little brawlers. Um, no, sorry, this is the backlash. I'm sorry. Cheaper um, Civivi knife. Comes in different colors, and I think it's a dang nice knife for the price. I think they're around 40 bucks. I like that style of blade, and it's like an all-round blade. I think it's a good one. Action's good. Uh, I have another one in this one, different color. So, it's the Olin's knife. This is just the natural, or they call it jaded handles. Another good little medium sized knife. And this one. I will be doing a review on this one soon. Oh, I'm liking this one. Carbon handles, and look at that Damascus. Ooh, I think it's sweet. So I will be doing a review on this one soon. All right, so, and this is a metal handle on the back side, by the way. So I just wanted to give you a quick view of some of the things I have that I'll be doing. I carry these kind of gloves when I'm up doing things. Leather pair. I have all kinds of nice little containers. These are for matches. And I'll show you what I do with my wooden matches to keep them waterproof, even though it is waterproof in this. I like these better than the plastic containers. They do weigh a little bit more, but I like to make sure if I do carry wooden matches that we're going to keep them dry and waterproof, but if you don't, I have a trick to waterproofing matches and windproofing. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Here's another thing I carry. Forceps, very handy, very good to have in a pack. Let me tell you, they come in handy for many things. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this off. I have to get back to my friend who um, so this part, if you want to listen to, you can, or you don't have to, but some of you know I've been super busy helping one of my friends. Well, we still haven't got the bone marrow test done yet, which is going to be on the 1st, and then we got to wait until the 19th to get the results back for that. We have to go to the oncologist for that, and this has taken so long through all this doctor stuff, and it keeps me so busy. 
helping him, taking him to appointments. I got to go again Friday to a doctor's appointment with him. And yes, I'm going to do it because I care for him so much. We're good friends and yeah, I just didn't figure this was how my summer was going to go, but it is what it is. I have to do this. I apologize for not keeping up with everybody. It's been a bummer. I can't even begin to keep up with everybody, so I apologize for that. I promise I'm going to try my hardest to keep I keep trying to watch a couple of videos every night, but by the time night comes around, I'm bushed. So it's not that I'm avoiding anybody because I'm definitely not avoiding anybody. I'm just super busy right now. Like I said, this isn't how I planned for my summer to go. I still going to get over Devil's Tower. I still want to go to Thermopolis. I just can't leave town right now until we get some answers. And I plan on getting him some more help, like some in-house care coming in and helping him. Because it's hard to be there all the time. He doesn't have no family here, so that's how it is. And if I'm friends with somebody, <laughs> I just don't think about it. I just do what I have to do. So you all have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. And I appreciate you all being here. Thanks, everyone. Bye.